so this patient, again, presents with, with advanced disease in the sense that she had a main, main portal vein invasion. And certainly the presence of main, main portal invasion with well-preserved liver function is an indication for treatment with, with sorafenib. Uh, this is a typical patient that was included in the SHARP and Asia-Pacific trials. Patients either, the, most, the majority of the patients either had portal vein invasion or extrahepatic metastases with a small subgroup of patients who had BCLC stage B, meaning disease that's limited to the liver without portal vein invasion, without extrahepatic metastases, but that had failed all local regional modalities. Those also would be appropriate patients for, for systemic therapy with sorafenib. So th this patient, as, as we, if, if we go back to the case, had a significant adverse events uh, from sorafenib, initially with grade three hand foot skin reaction, and then with grade three diarrhea. So uh, my general dosing strategy is to start at the full dose of sorafenib 400 milligrams twice daily, as long as the patient has CHALP-UA cirrhosis and a well-preserved uh, performance status. However, I do recommend that patients be monitored very closely during the first four to six weeks. And if they have grade one or two adverse events that are related to sorafenib, that aggressive supportive care be instituted early on including loperamide for diarrhea, adjustment of their diet, uh, uh, other supportive care measures for, for anorexia, uh, topical therapy with urea-based creams for, for early hand-foot skin reaction. However, if despite all these supportive care modalities, patients have intolerable toxicity or, or grade three events, their treatment should be held temporarily until recovery to grade one or baseline, and then the therapy with sorafenib should be reinstituted with a dose reduction. And the classic dose reduction goes from 400 milligrams twice daily to 400 milligrams uh, once daily, and then the second dose reduction would be to 400 milligrams every other day, as was done in this case. So this patient was uh, continued on, on sorafenib until she had a verifiable radiologic progression with the development of new extrahepatic disease. But generally, the question is when to discontinue systemic therapy. The, the, you know, the indications are when there is verifiable radiologic progression that is not questionable. Uh, or there is definitive clinical deterioration related to clinical progression of the disease, or a clinical decompensation of their liver cirrhosis that would render treatment unsafe or that makes the benefit from the treatment questionable. So these would be the general indication for treatment discontinuation with systemic therapy.